Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 10 of Love Live Superstars. It's gonna get started in 3, 2, 1. Really? Nice. <laughs> So either Chi or maybe Kukuru are possibly going to take the lead of singing, possibly. Maybe even um, Samire.
nice. Yeah. <laughs> that was cute though. Samara, you wanna try? Good time. Then that settles. <laughs> You're in the center. Mm-hmm. Mm, but it has to work that way, babe. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I mean, besides, it's your time to shine. Excuse me. Samaria, where do you think you're going? You are. It's written all over your face, but <laughs> what? <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh, no. I think so too.
beautiful. <laughs> You'll be fine. I mean, you don't want to give her too much, though. Yeah, and no offense, like, that's kind of playing it safe. Mm. Oh. But is that what you want, though? Exactly. So go ahead and start proving everybody wrong that you can be a good center. Poor baby. She's never really gotten the time to shine. Hmm? You're gonna have to go home. The thing was, it was kind of already obvious with it, and funny enough, like, we talked about this, what, like, two, three weeks ago on a, but like, two weeks ago on a freaking podcast, and in the end, the four are gonna have to find a way to keep her to stay, you know? No, 
baby. Samira. Baby. You just want to go out and just tell her? Mm-hmm. Of course not. Because it's cuckoo. Come on. She's always been stubborn since day one, but it's sweet. She's just thinking of what she believes would possibly make you guys win. So just trust in her. Exactly. Also, don't say anything else about Kukuru and her situation to the rest of the girls. Once again, they don't need to know yet.
was cute. Look how pretty she is! Oh. Can I give it to her? I gotta say, during this performance, like, freaking Samiri, she kind of reminds me of one of my favorite Idol Master Million Live characters, besides Takane. Because <laughs> Takane. Um, but, uh, Chizuru. <laughs> because of the fact is, I mean, especially with, like, the character and persona they bring out with each other and such, it's like, like yeah, like, you a little teeny tiny bit like cheese do, but not to the point where she does like <laughs> there's this laugh that she does that is so hilarious and every single time like I know a lot of people are like super annoyed by her laugh in the game but <laughs> I love her laugh it's so funny it makes me laugh instead oh god but this performance is sweet and I'm glad that Samiri got the time to shine hell this was a Samiri Kukuru episode and you know Samiri is second best girl for me still. Well, you know what? No, let me change that. Kanan and Samiri, they're, they're both in that number one spot and such. And that's just it. That's because mm, they're just both fucking special. And I love them so much. But to have an episode really about uh, Samiri and Kukuru was nice. And seeing their relationship because they've always bickered every single time. So to see them, you know, bicker at least one more time and then, you know, Telling her, yeah, you, you heard me talk to my my sister about that. Mm, mm how you feel about that? I, it's going to come back up. We all know it is. And I think when it does, it, it's going to be one of the most heartbreaking things that we're probably going to see because it's going to be very, to me, it's going to be very similar to, oh, look at Ren, um, to when Aikatsu season one ended for the first time and when Ichigo was like, well, you know what? I'm going to go travel the world and, you know, try to become a better idol and how Aoi and Ran were hella, you know, upset about her leaving. Really more of Aoi than Ran because Aoi and Ichiko have been like this since the beginning. The, everything that they've done, they've done together. Sometimes when they were support, um, apart, you know, Aoi and Ran were supportive of each other, whether it was for Ichiko, Ran, or Aoi, but to not have her, it was only really a week though because, you know, the next episode came out the following week. Um, it was still sad, no matter what, at the end of the day. And so it might feel like that with Kukuru, because it might be like, because see, something might tell me, depending on like, how many, we got like, what a couple, that's so pretty, she looks like a Cinderella baby, oh my god. We got like a couple of more episodes left with this show, I think about like, what, two, two more weeks with this show before we're done? Two or three more weeks with this show. Um... So, let's say in the final episode, we have to see Kukuru leave. Then season two is possibly going to be the girls going to go get her back. Unless they win. Um, now, if it wasn't, if they... Mm, God, no. if Because, see, something tells me I don't think they would do it in season two. Something tells me we would get, like, an hour-long OVA special and see them travel to Kukuru's home, go talk to her, demand or really talk to her parents and try to find a way for her to come back home because everything is riding on Kukuru to win Love Live in order for her to stay because if she doesn't she has to automatically go home and I understand the fact is that she doesn't want the rest of the girls to know because if she does it's gonna be all about oh we have to do this for Kukuru and such but I think even if she does, it's not only about saving the school, but then it's also about saving her and preventing her from going home, right? So why not just go ahead and tell them? I mean, there is still a lot writing on this. So I just hope and pray that, you know, when this secret does come out to the rest of the group, that, of course, we're going to have some tears. Because <laughs> it's love live. Come on now. We always have tears when it comes to this show. So I, I just hope that the moment when it does come, it's not like too tear worthy tear jerky i don't want to cry like so freaking much and, and i know there's going to be a point where kanan and kukuru they're gonna argue and i think that's going to be one of the most like heartbreaking things because 
they've been together at the hip since episode one and to see those two argue it's probably gonna hurt a lot of people but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode 10 of love live superstar if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day join the national squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next monday for episode 11 bye guys